like to take you in my basement and show you my movie projection transfer setup. This is my music closet. And it consists of an old Bell and Howell film sound aid. And it's been modified in a number of ways. First of all, um, I've made it so that it projects directly into the DLSR camera without a lens on it. So it goes right to the sensor on that camera. But I've modified the optics so that the camera focuses nicely. So that lens right here um, has been modified. I put a an extra focal lens on the front of that. It still allows me to focus. Um, one of the nice things you'll notice is I have the projector on, but the film isn't melting. And that's because inside of here, let me see if I can pop this off. <laughs> inside of here, I've converted the, the light into an LED. Got a little frosted glass lens that I made. Okay, so that's ready to go, that's ready to go. So I just turn the camera uh, into record mode and start up the motor. And there it goes. And you can see the digital film. Not in focus here, but it's a nice sharp focus on the, on the thing. So I like to do it um, in complete darkness. So when it's converting, I just shut the doors and then no other light other than the projector gets into the camera. So there you have it. I thought I'd show the editing. So whenever one of the films broke, I used this good old uh, Hollywood Automate splicer. My dad taught me how to use that. I used to use it in the basement with a crowd waiting for the film to start. And I'd get it going again with splicing. I think all my brothers and sisters might be familiar with that. I uh, had to order this glue. It's uh, film cement in order to, to patch. Luckily my dad still had uh, a bunch of spare white movie leader and then you can see some of the clippings from film that's getting pretty brittle. Uh, here's a, a look at the, <laughs> the number I've got. These are the, the 50s and there's about 60 films there, including three big 200-footers, or four big 200-footers. And then in there is the, uh, the 60s and the 70s. Everything is in the order that I transferred it, so if I ever have to go back and do another copy, I can. So that's how it was done. And then I move that digital onto the, onto the computer and do the rest.